Hey, YouTube viewers, it is I, Mr. Warden, explaining about my hiatus that occurred back in June. Well, in my hand is my old digital camera with a Polaroid PDC 3070. I've had this since January 2007. Back on the 3rd or 4th of June, I tried to upload a pricing game recap, well, half of it, using this camera, and when I tried to upload, when it, when the USB cable wouldn't respond right away, I had to, like, toggle the USB cable, and then a message coming up saying that the USB port got disabled, and that was kind of strange, so I had to get myself a new digital camera because of that problem, and the one you are watching that has a clearer and better picture compared to my last digital camera is a Polaroid A544, has 5.0 megapixels with an AX digital zoom, and it's a lot better than my old digital camera. So, now, on to the back to school edition of The Price is Right. So, pretty cool that all college students got a chance to play pricing games, and although the results in the second half were terrible, the first half was pretty good, with two big wins in L Lucky 7 and Pushover, along with $21,500 in Plinko. That was probably one of the best first halves of the 38th season, in my opinion. So now, season 39 will be coming in September, and it's going to be very different because Rich Fields is no longer going to be the announcer of the show. I, I gotta say, he was a really great announcer, and of course there have been other great announcers too, like Johnny Olsen and Rod Roddy, but Rod Roddy and Rich Fields were around my time, Johnny Olsen was before my time, but I've watched Olsen stuff, awesome, awesome announcer, and Roddy, he did a great job carrying the prices right, but I think to me Rich Fields probably carried the show the best. I mean, he has a great announcing voice, great personality, such a shame he's going to be missed. However, I do wish the best for the three substitute announcers for the new season. J.D. Rivero, Brad Sherwood, and some other guy. I think he was from Whose Line Is It Anyway? I, I can't remember his name right now. I think it was Davis, Jim Davis or something. I don't, that's not his name, but anyway. Best of luck to those guys, and hopefully one of them will carry on Richfield's legacy as announcer of the show. If it were my choice, I'd probably pick Brad Sherwood because he's the most familiar to me compared to the other two. Now, Season 39 is going to have a couple of new things, such as a new scoreboard for Plinko, which will have like a plasma screen, should be pretty sweet, and a new game called Pay the Rent, where the top prize is $100,000. Now, I read about this on YOCM's videos, saying it's going to involve grocery products. Very interesting. Can't wait to see how that game will be played, and I would sure love to see a big $100,000 win when that occurs. Oh, did you see the photos of Drew Carey taping at the Season 39 show on Life.com? He has the body of Bob Barker now. He's lost so much weight. I mean, he looks great. And you know what my prediction is for this? If they have a Halloween show for the new season, I think they will. I am predicting Drew Carey will be Bob Barker. I can really picture that happening right now. Drew Carey as Bob Barker. That'd be pretty funny. Just as funny as when he was the mountain climber for the very first, well not really very first, but the Halloween show that aired in the season 38. Alright, well that concludes why I was gone. My thoughts on the back to school special The Price is Right and what season 39 will be like. So, till then, this is Mr. Morgan saying, see ya next time!